there's nothing worse than unpaid invoices. In this video, I'll show you how to automatically send out SMS reminders for invoices in Zoho Invoice. The way we're going to do it is via Zoho Flow. You're going to make a flow that looks like this, where we are triggering when a new invoice is created, and then we send a message via message media. Let's dig into it. First of all, to get to the beginning of this flow, we will go into Zoho Flow, and we're going to make a new flow. You're going to trigger it based on Zoho Invoice. And you're going to do it based on Invoice Created, though you could also do it based on Invoice Updated. You need to have a connection that will prompt you to do that if you haven't already done that. And then, once you're at that point, Let's go back to the one I created earlier. So you've got this initial action here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get an invoice payment link. The way you do that is in the app section here. If you type in Zoho invoice, and then you come down to fetch public invoice payment link, you'll get this option here. That's going to mean that we can actually have a link to pay the invoice in the SMS. Next, you're going to then trigger an SMS to be sent. So search for message media and drag that in. You need to put in the phone number that you're going to use to send out. That will be a dedicated number in your message media console. Make sure that it is exactly that number with no spaces in between. For the source number type, choose international. You can do alphanumeric if you're in Australia and you want to send from a business name. For the destination number, in this case I'm using the billing address phone number. You may want to use a different field. The way that you get the fields is if you type in here, you can see the different phone fields that you have available. You don't typically have mobile fields, but you can get it out of the billing address. Then in the content, that's where the message content will be stored. So we're going to use the customer name. I got that by searching in here for customer name to bring in the merge field. Thanks for your order with Eddie's Enchiladas. Your invoice using the invoice number is ready. and. See how I've got the three dollar signs here? That looks a bit weird. What that actually results in is just one dollar sign with the total and that. You have to do it like that because normally a dollar sign has special meaning in Zoho Flow. It's the start of a merge field. And then finally, here's a link to pay and we're getting that out of the step that we had earlier. Out of the fetch public payment link, so we have the share link there. So if you just wanted to send one when the invoice is actually created, that's what you have to do. The next part I'm doing is if we want to send another one that will be triggered when the invoice is now overdue, we can add in a delay step for that we come into logic and we use delay. And then we're going to refetch the invoice data because the information that we had at the beginning will be out of date. So we're going to fetch invoice by number using the invoice number in the first step. And then we're going to add a decision step to make sure that it's still unpaid. So for that, we are checking that the status, which is I've done it wrong here, it should be the status here. Let's just double check we're getting the right one. Yeah. Fetch invoice by number, that status. 
because we want to make sure that we're making sure that it hasn't been paid in the meantime. And then if it still is unpaid, then we'll send a message maybe with a little bit of a more serious tone this time. Reminder that your invoice is now overdue and again including a payment link. Hopefully that helps you to be able to have a, a flow where you're going to increase the likelihood that your invoices will be paid on time.